item 9, 11, and 12, the references to attached document page number and is incorrect as some documents are part of a scene on the agenda. Can you speak up a bit, sorry, I'm struggling to hear. Oh, sorry, no, attach my number as well then, sorry. So, can you, it makes references to some documents which aren't there, so are there any documents missing that should be there? No, or? it's page number that's incorrect. Right. Okay. Um, item 4A, minutes for the, the minutes for approval for the March 2024. Minute 171A and 171B are incorrect. We are missing the actual past resolutions. I'm referring to the appraisals policy, which was actually amended, but it's listed in as if it amongst all the other policies which weren't amended. And then there's a second um, document which um, uh, has missed out a whole section. Um, it's related to the, it's the financial regulations. In the minute we resolve to approve the financial regulations pending the completion of NALC's review of the model of financial regulations. Whereas in actual fact, the piece that's missing is a whole paragraph which uh, read as a removal of requirement for councillor to complete bank reconciliation at year end and instead only for quarter one, quarter two and quarter three referenced by dates for clarity. Sorry? Yeah. Um, item 7 a finance, uh, why has the March financial summary not been presented at this April meeting, which is the normal practice? And item 7c, what authority does FPC have to alter uh, Belton Joint Cemetery Committee financial arrangements without the approval of either the Belton Joint Cemetery Committee or the other two parish councils. Council were set to receive a huge amount of money too, I think somewhere around about 110 million in buyback rates, which again we're going to use that money to fuel employment, create jobs in Northumberland. Um, and again, you know, massive um, amount in rates to NCC, half of it to NCC and half of it to the new combined authority so you know this has been a long time in the making and obviously under wraps for a long long time but great news for Northumberland and especially you know uh, the southeast corner um, so really really good obviously the 
railway is coming along quite well to the um, South East Northumberland Railway that's making good progress. Um, you know, more locally, really pleased to see um, a new access at Riverside uh, being used. Obviously, um, it's just across from the pub, and it's a real thrill to see so many people down there sitting, enjoying the. Uh, enjoying the, the, the spot, which is uh, quite special. Uh, I've been trying to talk to put up, there was uh, a lot of spots down there for you. Sorry? There was a lot of down there for you. Oh, really? Yeah, it was very good. But really, Chair, that was all I had to say. No. Any questions from yourselves? What's the matter? No. Yeah. <laughs> I might just stay and listen for a little while. Yeah, yeah, no, you're more than welcome. Yeah. And we move on to item four. Uh, so we don't see any comments there on the minutes for 4th of March. Um, So the um, question about bank reconciliation, not the What's that call? Call. That was actually mentioned at the meeting. Yeah, so that's that's that, that, was, that was presented in the draft that came to the financial regulations, which came to the meeting, had that change in them because it was an amended document for approval. So again, we said to approve the financial regulations as presented at the meeting, that would cover that. Right, can you go into a little more specifically? So could you repeat the what you're voting for? <coughs> uh, no, I think the words uh, common policies presented. So to put the word presented into uh, A and B. Is that correct? As presented. As presented, yes. Okay. As opposed to not putting As opposed to, as it currently is in the... Because that the documents that were um, put on the, the website as additional documents 
had a <coughs> detail, not only in the text of the document, but then also the table showing what changed at the end. Councillor oh. Culpert has put a, an alternative as in because it is an important yeah, change yeah. about the quarterly. That's why I didn't that's why we're, that's why So that so there is going to so be one or the other. Right. Right. Um, so the paper of Presented to the meeting. No, could, uh, excuse me. Right, uh, can you please raise your hand? Point? Oh, excuse me. Yeah. Ra raise your hand and then I'll address you if you uh, okay? Okay. But don't raise your hand and then we start speaking, okay? Well, you were about to take a vote, which I think you'll, it'll be an unlawful vote, so go ahead. Go ahead, please. Just what, what is your comment? Please. If somebody puts an amendment forward on a resolution, you have to vote on the amendment first. If it's passed, it becomes the, the, the resolution. You don't vote for the resolution first. Is that correct, Mr. Thorne? Yes, that's normally the case. That's, that's what I'm concerned about because it was discussed in the meeting. It was in the document that was presented to the meeting, so the, doc the financial regulations, we didn't make oh, a new oh. change at the meeting. I can prepare the draft with that change in it and attach it to the agenda and put it on the website with that change in it. And then at the end of the document, I can specify that that's a change and then at the meeting vote whether to approve that version. So we could write out in there that that was the change made, but then if you're going to do that, you should probably complete this detail, all of the changes for all of the points of system we made and all of the points of system so you, you mentioned it yourself. But, but you, right. you mentioned it yourself, didn't you? You put that in the meeting. Right. And then it wasn't in. So I was going to query this yeah. thing. So. Let us revert back a little then. So we we'll have the option of uh, presenting at the meeting Set. Are we happy with that vote? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then, or option B is detailing in a table all the changes for all of them. So you, you just got frustrated now. Then why? What, what, just put the extra bit in. We, the, the we're fine point. with the, I'll, the I'll, point I'll, about I'll, the, yeah. I'll, the whole point of it is we need to vote for these changes to happen. You're obviously, I believe, in favour of. I think if you detail it in B, I think you, if you're going to detail the changes that you're making to the financial regulations, you should detail the plan that you're making changes to all of them. So that on a, on a cold read of the minutes, if somebody came to you and just read them, they wouldn't think that those ones didn't have any changes in them. We're not changing it to the we financial are. regulation. We, we voted to put it over until we had a new revised version in. No, we, we voted to approve them. the financial regulations that were presented was including the change with the, to the um, reconciliations because that was the document that put forward to the meeting. Well, to make the meeting go forward, why don't I stay? Happy with that? Okay. Uh, I, I'm really sorry because I'm really, really strong so I think Richard's just triggered me to migrate and I can't no. follow what's actually even been going on here anymore. Okay, I'm going to have to just leave. Um, no, I can't even. No, thank you. So I wasn't well, I should have maybe not come in the first place. But yeah. Oh, and as a side point, so I'm happy to do it. Quite happy to do it. I mean, it doesn't make a lot of difference, does it? So um, it's not like you're saying how this is work, I've got the method. So I'm happy to do the book for it. Just as a side note. The reason we were going to do it, the reason we suggested that we didn't do it, this was raised because I have to hand everything. It takes quite a while to get everything through 
Matthew Patrick and to meet the deadline. And last year, because of this holiday commitment and this other personal commitment, we you know, every year it is a bit stressful trying to get another time with Patrick to get through the internal audit. So therefore, if we had, so last year we didn't do the fourth quarter reconciliation because we had overlooked that was a an essence a requirement in the financial regulations. It was noticed in the audit, it you know, we explained that it had been because it went straight to the internal auditor. They do the they do a full back he does a full back back full back reconciliation as part of his review or finance at the end of the year. So it's just duplicated work because it's asking the council to do it and Patrick to do it and until Patrick Patrick is the priority because we have to get through the internal audit. So you would either have to delay files going to Patrick to allow somebody else to do it. I know you've got time, but that doesn't necessarily mean that both years will have somebody back in the end of the year. And secondly, it means that all goes to Patrick first and then goes to somebody else, but it's just two people doing the same the same job when it's being done as part of the year end, and then everybody here. Yeah. So it's probably done more to that. I know you could have, but suppose you're not done next year or so it's a test that works full time for let's say mm -hmm. works full time. We will often be able to have that commitment just to dedicate it. Or the internal audit has different it. commitments and so you don't need it and therefore it seems unnecessary to duplicate the work at the event when when it when okay, it, we're also dwelling on a change that has been voted and approved. Yes. My understanding when the chair speaks to Patrick, is he does a percentage of the, he doesn't do a full reconciliation, he does a percentage reconciliation. So therefore you might not get the full reconciliation you want about if you're not doing nothing in that fourth quarter. I stand to be corrected, but that's why I understand yeah, you're right. when I was doing the job. Yeah, but that was two years ago then. So, so he's now been told to do a full reconciliation then? Because that's what he's I, 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 that's when we were chair. Okay, I'll go. I'm happy with your comment. Yes. I was very pleased that you were doing a, a review last month. Uh, I was disappointed when you passed the element that you were talking about, as in uh, the internal auditor doing the fourth quarter. And it was passed by everybody, which shows that none of you had actually read your own financial regulations. The internal auditor cannot do, if you look at, uh, in the financial regulations 2.6 and 2.7, may not under any circumstances perform any operational duties for the council, initiate or approve any accounting transactions. So you will find that Mr. Kanner cannot do what he's being asked to do, nor should he be asked to do. It would make um, his decision and impartiality non-valid. It would also initiate that this councillor cul cul culprit has would then have a big gap of uh, not being able to do the reconciliations of six months. It, it's just nonsensical, but it's in the financial regulations that he can't do it, yet you all passed it, having read them thoroughly. So it is important that it is minuted that you agree to change it to the fourth quarter so that if there is a challenge to the accounts, the accounting is. Yeah. Is that funny, Clark? Yes, it is. Actually. It is, right. So to, to protect yourself as a council, maybe you should put it in, then go look at the uh, financial regulations and then come back at another meeting and maybe we discuss it. Okay, so we'll to be honest with you, I'm not going to dwell on anything that happened at the last meeting. We're going to go back to the vote that we agreed to proceed with, and that's add in the words of the policy, uh, policy present, as presented at the meeting, uh, or um, we'll detail all the changes to all policies in the minutes. So, hand the phone first one. in my vote on the first one. So I'm just going to abstain from the whole thing because I don't agree with this and we abstain from the whole thing and carry on and do the jobs.
vote to approve the minutes uh, for both of March of the changes uh, today. Basically, the end of your accounts are pretty much there. There we have the guidelines from my point of view that with Patrick, Patrick will do, Patrick will have questions for me, so what he usually does is he has an initial week. So I met, I've already sat down with him, been through a few questions that he had already. Um, <coughs> he's got all of the paperwork now, so he's got the AR form, which he fills in first of the processes. He has to do, he does the internal review, so internal audit. He fills in his part of the AR form, and then when that's ready, we will approve the accounts, put the account, um, approve the accounting figures in the AR form, and then approve the government's figures in the AR form as well um, at a meeting. Um, so, yeah, so everything's with Patrick. Uh, he's, I've, I've answered some questions, I know he's got more that will arrive, he's already got some more, so he's going to send them, them through to me. There will be some of his that arise that he usually has things that arise out of uh, looking at um, that he works through. Like he's, he's got his own like um, matrix that he works through, um, so we already kind of get rid of that. So um, hoping, I mean, he was hoping to look at it next this week, next week. Um, I know he's got some other commitments. Okay. And then. Um, so we'll see him in the main meeting. I'm hoping. So. Right. You sent me a copy of the cash. Um, so I've got some questions around the backroom transfers. Yeah. Um, is my understanding of it correct that the expenditure of the coverable VAT should equal the backroom fund? Are you no. claim the money back during the year? No. Right. It so is it going to be bigger or less? That, that whatever's in the cash flow is what's been claimed after it's so, in March. But okay, obviously, so it's VAT being paid all of the time, and then there's periodic reclaims made. So, when did you make the last reclaim? Um, I don't know what the date on it was, but it, it was after. Because I know it definitely had all of the purchase of the benches and things. I think it might have been around December. Of course, we've had that refund. Well, this is the century. We've had refunds of 454, yeah. and we've spent 1,279. Yeah. So, we're <clears throat> yeah, so we're out on that one, 800 quid. But then on the, to the parish council, it's the other way around. So we spent £3,088 on the covers of that and had an income of 7215 So where did the full band come from? Yeah, the people who were previously. So, so the stuff carried over, 
how is it carried over into the new year? Because surely we'd have to zero everything off and start again. No, it's that because we're not on an income expenditure basis, so we're not accruing anything. So that leaves our account on the day it gets spent, and then the income arrives on the day it arrives, and we don't net it up against each other. So there should be an opening balance on the 2024 figures of the difference between the two. Otherwise, how does it work? I don't understand how it works. Because it's because you because it's because it's an income stream and it's an incoming stream and an outgoing stream. So. But we it, they don't match. No. So what is the difference? It's, In the bank account, it's not Because it, yeah. Because supposing I've spent fifty pounds today, ten pounds of which was VAT, and then that goes on to the next back pay I might do, which might be let's say three months down the line, because you have to wait. It, it, they don't. They don't want you to put in lots of small claims. They prefer you to wait and put in. You use a whole bunch of big ones at the end bunch, of last year. A whole bunch. Yes. Yeah. Nothing went through the year. Yeah, there's a whole, there's a whole bunch. Yes, yeah, a whole bunch. Of ones. So I put them on a spreadsheet. So basically, I print off a, a spreadsheet list. Um, so I go through the. I go through. I, can't, I check it against the cash book, and I go through all the invoices because I've got to take all the VAT. And that's the thing as well. There's no point. So if all of them, we've all got VAT. So you put VAT number in. You have to put what kind of supply it is. You can either do it if it's up to twenty invoices. You do it online, which is a fact, because then you have to do it box by box. So you do more at the end. Yeah. So do it in one right. go because you can do it as a spreadsheet that way. So, so then, you, so then it's not at the end. It's not the end of the financial year. It's part way through the financial year. So there's still going to be money spent. So at the end of the year. Yeah. So that the parish council is presumably up because some of it was carried over from last year. And then not as much has been spent towards the event and semi is presumably the opposite, that more of it has been spent. It would be useful to get an opening balance on those for the year so we know where we stand in terms of cash we can get back in again. Through. Well, I yeah, I just didn't understand why the figures don't matter. So, uh, yeah, that one seemed a bit odd to me. Uh, um, the thing about the Leaving the earmarked funds for. Let's uh, separate and take the same sort of. Is that what yeah, it does? Yeah. Oh, see. Okay, yeah, yeah, fine. Yeah. 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 Um, so I'm just going to get back to the bank account. Yeah. Yeah. So, where did Cemetery, the Cemetery's account for the last year was £9,000 short, on, uh, actually, no, they're £10,000 short on budget. So, where's that budget? It's come out of the general reserves that the cemetery has. Come out of the general reserves yes. that the cemetery has? Yes. Right. That, that £9,059.49. Pence. Just take the right. Okay. Because we've had the contributions in from the other parishes yeah. of uh, just over four grand. Yeah. But we're still nine grand short. Is there any more money coming from the other parishes or not? No, because we've spent reserves. We've spent, we've spent the general reserve that they had. They had general reserves, not like ten grand. So they started. So last year, the cemetery had twenty-one thousand at the start of the year, on which, let's say, is twelve thousand pounds because that's mostly reserve figure. And now they only have effectively the earmarked reserves. They don't have the general reserves because they've right. spent it. And the other parishes are away. Yes. So at nine grand, I was assured at a meeting, two meetings ago, that that was going to be six hundred quid. It's actually ten grand over the budget. Which comes but it's not point. okay. But it's not. It's not. And you thought we were going to end up. Well, I was assured it was going to be six hundred quid, and it isn't. It's ten grand. Because we've spent reserves, but it's not. That was that just expenditure over income. Okay. We're going to get money in, and we haven't had money in. We were looking at about 600 quid, it's now 10 grand. Is that because you're looking at expected cash expenditure? No, it's. I'm just looking at the cash. Right. Is it just income and expenditure? After all, it's just you're looking at expenses in that box. Well, I'll make this up myself. Yeah. I'll yeah. share it with you if you're interested. Well, that's just. just I, I just created a spreadsheet. Right yeah, because Alex, because I think last time, well, if it might be a miscommunication, it might be a miscommunication because Same when story. we were talking about it originally, we were talking about the income and expenditure coming in, and you were concerned that we were going to be in a negative figure at the year 
end and not in it, the cemetery is not in a negative figure at the year end. Mm -hmm. Negative figure. Oh. Yeah, he'd come up uh, uh, 5,000 uh, miles uh, yes, and spend in the 1500. But we have reserves that we have used, so it's not a negative, it's a negative figure, so it's over spending budget, but it, isn't, it's, it hasn't taken the cemetery right. as a whole into um, a. It has, it has. The actual figures. Income 5984, spending 15044. So it's taking okay. the subject. What's their bank balance column? That's not nothing to do with it. Right. No, no, right. right. so what, what was their bank balance? The account balance on what? We've only got three. We've got three current there's, accounts. There's the cemetery one that we're, talk, that we're discussing. Well, that's fiction. That's, that's right. just a virtual account that is used to make life incredibly complicated. All I'm talking about here is income and expenditure. In the nine, ten thousand pounds, sorry, nine thousand pounds over, or in the red to nine thousand pounds, ten thousand pounds. We have reserves there. We have reserves there. Oh, That's like I say. Yeah, I have, so, yeah, so, so yeah. I'm saying so. Like, if, like, I'm not saying sure. no, sir. So why not? Though? Because why not? Because it's because, because, because the decision to spend the money. It's just income and expenditure. I'm not. No, but that's like saying I have a savings account and I only earn, let's say in my job I earn five thousand pounds, but I spend ten thousand pounds, but I have savings of fifteen. It doesn't mean that I'm, I haven't cut, I haven't bankrupted myself for the year because I've used my savings. It's the same. The cemetery committee has used its reserves, it has used its savings, and therefore, although it has overspent on budget, so when you look at just income and expenditure, yes, it looks like there has been a negative figure reduced, but it had savings, it had yeah, which yeah. it has now yeah. spent up, so I don't know. Which are now less. Yes. Yeah. Which the joint which are now 9,000 pounds less than they went to. Which the joint cemetery committee and the key parishes made the conscious decision to do. Right. Yep. Yeah. We're still 9,000 pounds in red. We have reduced mm -hmm. the net worth of. Yes, that's two different statements and they're not the same. That's two statements. We are, we are reducing the net worth of the cemetery. We have used up the reserves, yes. We, we have net spent is the net, net worth is, the net worth is down. That's something that we're in the red because we still have money there, don't we? Well, I'm have. just talking about income versus expenditure. And I'm not so, talking about um, the um, we need to go over this whole income versus expenditure no, with you, no, okay? That's I'm not dwelling this right, I'm not dwelling in this every meeting with you, okay? Okay, <clears throat> I'll tell you what, let's move on. So let's, let's discuss then the budget for this current year where we've got nothing in the budget for the audit fee. How the hell is that supposed to be? Because, because it was a conscious decision left. made when the budget was set that there was circa three and a half, four thousand 4,000 left over that we would rather than increase the fee set again and get the taxpayers to pay their money out for somebody that wants to Alan, we've got nine thousand pounds in the audit budget because we've got reserves of nine thousand pounds. Yeah, so what income versus expenditure budget? So what? So what? So this is the basic principle of budget. So what's the point? Yes. It's the yes. Basic principle yes. Of budget. We have budgeted. We're we have budgeted to use our nine thousand pounds of savings. That was what we did. We did. We, said, uh, we did. We said we weren't going to put more money in because we had nine thousand pounds left over from previous years. So we didn't need to put more money in. If we budgeted, let's say we thought the spend was going to be four thousand pounds, so we have to put four thousand pounds in this column. But then what's happening to this? It's just sitting there. The whole point of having the earmarked reserves is so that they can build up and we can use them again for expenditure as it arises. But we don't sense. need to put anything in the budget this year because we are using our savings as part of the budget. That's what the notes on the budget said. Well, what we're saying in budget then yeah. is that the net worth of the council won't move. It will because there will be five thousand pounds of audit. What does that mean, what's that mean? At the moment, the aim of the budget is that the, the net worth at the beginning of the year is the same as the net worth at the end. Yeah, it comes out flat, zero. In theory, why? your income why? equals your expenditure. Okay, why? Well, it does on this budget, so your no, income to. equals expenditure. You're allowed to invest in the community, we can spend money, we can spend reserves. It's the whole point of us being here and saving reserves. There's going to be years where we increase our budgets, keep our reserves increasing, there's going to be years when they go down. There's no point trying to keep the level filled all the time because we'll never achieve anything, we'll never do anything. Because, because, because we've put in money for the previous year. So, basic principle of 
so in previous years. Well, in previous years. 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 discussing one of my public questions there and I didn't actually get an answer. Um, item 7A Finance and the question was why has a March financial summary not been presented at this April meeting which is a normal practice. It's there is a lot of discussion. But it would a, a quick answer to that. It's going to be presented at the meeting because it's currently one yeah, it's one to, to no, can, I, can I just clarify something? The year end is completely different to the monthly statements the monthly of accounts. The statements are never done to the exact end of the month. Correct. 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 They are always done to the meeting. This is done to the meeting. So at, when I do the agenda, this one took me a couple of extra days to get out because of having to transfer things over from the year end. They are always done to the point of the meeting so that the parish council has an up-to-date, accurate picture of what is currently available to them to spend so they can have a look at what the income to the point of the meeting is and the expenditure to the point of the meeting. If Excuse they want to do me. One, that would be two weeks old. You have frequently made monthly statements to the uh, meeting, which are more than a week old. I've seen because money. Because to the point of the agenda. No. Right. So we've done this one I to think the point. Yeah, it, it's, Excuse it's, me. Just hold off the slide, please, if you want, right? We've done one to the point of the meeting. As we discussed it a few minutes ago, the end of the year will be presented at the next meeting. Okay? And then anything further on that. It, it, in, previous, well, in, pre question. in previous years, it has and gone to the, it has gone to, to yeah, yeah, and it but actually would but help the likes of Alan, who is doing the year, so that there is a, a near continuation. Alan has got the up-to-date records, yeah. it, so he has got the full cash book, he has got all of the information, he has got a position to the 31st of March, because I have sent it to him, so that he could do exactly what you're saying and put his records up-to-date. Well, in which case, why haven't you published the... Because the point of the financial summary is to provide up-to-date financial information at the point of the meeting. No, the, the, I'm afraid the, 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 the previous ones you've produced do not do that. They're not at the point of the meeting. They're a week, even two weeks before. The only time that they're two weeks before is when I've done the agenda and the meeting has been moved. And I haven't redone the financial position, position at that point. Yeah. Moving on.
believe that at the time it was put aside. The cemetery was filling up quite like it had been had quite a few years where it had been very busy, there'd been a lot of burials, so it was concerned that it continued at the um, at the same rate that it would that we would need new land. However, since then it has dramatically slowed. We're getting I mean the last few years we've only had one or two burials. Most people I'd say more of our um, services now tend to be on the burial or the bashes or the tracks um, side of things rather than the full the burials. Um, and the other point that has been made um, to the chairs um, was that even if we did want to buy land, £10,000 is really sort of the drop in the ocean to, to really what we need. So I think the point was made that if the cemetery does become full, um, we would have to we would have to look at financing that to a public works loan anyway, or, or something of that sort, rather than um, so. Now it seems odd to be told that because of the slow, slow, slow down of, of, um, of, of the way that the cemetery is filling up. So, um, we've also got £750 per way for consecration of land. That was um, thought to be necessary at one point, and we would, um, it was thought that we were going to have to get permission from the Bishopric of Dublin. Um, or some, it, was all, it was very well, complicated. A, a larger area, and at the moment, we're advised to consecrate. So now what happens people. is the plots get consecrated as we go, so again that money um, hasn't been used and is unlikely to be needed. Um, the cemetery has got £275 in it, this is a historic neighbour issue where there was a tree that was causing issues um, along the boundary and needed works done at the time, but that hasn't, that, you know, that was all, has now all since been resolved and is just sort of an obsolete fund. And then, are we talking about Green Woods Fund as well, or is that I think we need to double check the Willis one, but effectively the Willis one was a fund given to maintain graves, a certain pair of graves in the cemetery, and over the years they've been maintained, and now they've drawn money from the Broom Willis fund to pay for that maintenance, so effectively we need to just investigate a little bit further and then... Yeah, so maybe not the whole amount, so that could be some of it will be withdrawn. So it will be, so be effectively the 11,500 so basically what the, the chairman, uh, um, the three chairmen have said that they will each go to the parish councillors to ask whether in, 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 if the parish councillors would be happy with those reserves to be just transferred into general reserves um, going forwards rather than being held as separate ones because as I say they've been untouched since, I mean, well, like in the last eight years. So, so then, yeah. So then, if any of those things are I mean, obviously we'd have to, you know, if we if we can kind of pick up massively. I think with the existence of the, um, we're finding that a lot of burials are going down the road as well now to Rotherham Field. So, um, not very soon. All that may be relevant, mm -hmm. but it appears to be driven from the wrong uh, source, shall we say? Because you've got a Felton Joint Cemetery Committee. With, with whose function is to for the three parishes to discuss these very things that you're talking about. Whereas this seems to be driven from a suggestion by the clerk. No. It was a conversation with uh, the chairmen of the other councils. When was that? Because there hasn't been a there hasn't been a cemetery committee yeah, meeting for quite a while. I think in February meeting there was. I didn't say it was a meeting. I said it was a conversation that was happening. Yeah. So, so I come back to it. So this this has been presented as something you're going to pass here without it being discussed by even the, the cemetery committee as a as a joint committee. The the mechanism. I may be missing something, but the whole point of having a joint committee is you've delegated the powers to that committee to decide how it wants to run. The, the, the place where this should have been first discussed was at the cemetery committee. They then, if that had decided that's where they wanted to go, bear in mind the clerk does attend those meetings. Uh, if they wanted to do that... I don't know why you're paying for back to the clerk on this as a I'll reiterate, this was a conversation that was had between the three chairmen of the councils. When? That'd be a couple of weeks ago, I'd make check my logs. 
Right, so, so that would be reported on under the other parts of the calendar. So back in February, when the discussion took place about the overspend on the budget, which there was, which Councillor Cook uh, was quite right of around, is, um, is, is quite right, that at that point, um, there was going to be a meeting arranged at the next cemetery committee, which obviously hasn't, there hasn't been one. I think uh, it was supposed to be mid-April, and that hasn't happened. So the overspend was going to be talked about there, and presumably um, the elements that have now been discussed at this uh, meeting with the chair, the three chairs to the heat conversation. Said, conversation. Not right, so you can have a conversation. So but it, oh, it couldn't have come out with thin air. Right, so so it, it, exactly, it, it, the way that this is now going to um, work out is that by doing what you put forward to the character that the three chairs are, are looking at is a way of actually, um, by putting this money into general funds, it, it, this overspend of £10,000 disappears because one minute there's 20,000 in and the next minute there's 10,000 and it's not accountable so anymore. Money still it's there. Yeah, no, no, the, the, the overspend has disappeared. Well, the budget, the no, the budget, no, 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 no. Excuse me, the budget. please. No, I'm being no, over, no, I'm being me. overspoken. Stop shouting or you're going to be asked to leave. I have been overspoken when I've been speaking. There is an overspend of £10,000 on the budget, right? Now, this is the money that Councillor um, Culpit is talking about. And by doing what you intend to do, by having this money go into general reserves, will actually. Again, you can't. No, but you're saying you're picking up words there. You're saying you intend to do. Nothing has been voted on. The proposal put in place. The overspend will not disappear because the overspend is going to be clearly apparent in the end of year calendar. So on the start of the end of. We're not talking about this financial year. Last financial year, start of the year, of twenty something thousand pounds. And then the year of just over ten thousand, so well twelve thousand pounds, whatever it was. So last year's accounts will show that overspend in perpetuity because if even if the cemetery committee, the parish council, whoever makes this final decision, transfers earmarked reserves into general reserves, that it can't retrospectively take it into last. The, 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 the overall, as Alan says, net worth of the cemetery committee went down £10,000 last year. That's in the accounts. It's in the accounts. It's not... We're just saying, instead of holding the remaining £10,000 in the earmarked reserves, we're going to hold the remaining, the same remaining £10,000 in general reserves. They all go to zero, so we, have, we can't magic the £10,000 back. The £10,000 just not come back. So it's not going to... It can't negate an overspend that has already happened. So the the monies that the monies that were paid out by Felton Parish Council for the uh, some of the chairs down at the um, the benches down at the monument, what percentage of that is coming back to the joint cemetery? Fund? It's being spent out of the joint jointly held cemetery reserves. So the general reserves that were there, you know, this ten thousand. Let's say, I mean, it's not around £10,000 figure, but that's easy to say, isn't it? The £10,000 figure that is an overspend, it has been spent out of the reserves which, which, are, which belong in roughly third, third, third to each of the three parish councils. So they've each contributed their equal percent, you know, their equivalent percentage, whatever their relevant percentage is, because it's been spent out of the general reserves for those in the shares that they held. Even though they didn't know anything about it. They did know they did. about it. They sent representation to the meetings that voted on it. No, not for an overspend on the budget. Though. The actual amount right. that you were spending. The purchase of the, the benches and where it's voted on at the cemetery committee meetings. I can, I can and it's been minuted, right? Uh, it, ha it, ha it actually it hasn't been minuted. The amount that was going to be spent was never revealed to the representatives at the cemetery meeting. All that was agreed at there was that you're going to buy the benches. Nobody actually told them how much they were going they to cost. Saw, they all saw it because we 
all we all looked at catalogue images and saw the saw the prices. It was never put in print how much it was, and the other parish councils were not made aware of it. As per you, the as per the cemetery um, terms of reference, that anything over a budget has to be put back to the other parish councils for. Right. Okay. That's okay. Anyway, so, are you aware right of whether the parish council is happy to transfer? So that's going into the general funds. Just, yeah. just, it will go from the cemetery's earmark reserves and there's no longer. So the cemetery's general funds. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, in fact, most of that isn't. So some of that isn't ours, basically. That's what I'm looking for. Yeah. So we we would basically say we would approve that transfer mm -hmm. and then the cemetery's then they belong to the other house. Yeah. Yeah. And then the cemetery committee would would have the right. Yeah. Yeah. So we're just making the parish. It's all things. We're happy. The parish council's happy with the money to be transferred. Well, Yeah, it's, yeah. Peter Richard came up with the idea. Two seconds. Is it in relation to no. this? 
Uh, I just want to go back because the dictionary definition of meeting is a situation where two or more people meet by chance or arrangement. So I'd like the council definition of a meeting, please, so we can know whether or not it's a meeting or, or not. Okay. Um, Jane, you want to say nothing to report other than anything that was added to the agenda for discussion? Sorry? What dictionary? Uh, Oxford Languages. Oxford Languages. Perfect. Uh, we'll move back to where we were. Village Hand. So, yeah, the um, pump that we did a couple of years ago, and we got the sort of all the way through the sensory um, care playground type role. And because of the difference in the need for different pay scales, and the fact that the two jobs might not be done by the same people, we talked about the fact that it needed to be separated. So we separated the job description for the parish caretaker away from the um, sensory one. And this is what we ended up with. And it's some of the stuff that closely links to the work of the property management um, group, to be fair, and also just general caretaking to the village as a whole. Now, obviously, that one doesn't have the huge expense of the responsibility of making sure the bridge runs are safe and all that sort of thing. So obviously the, the payment would be less for this one. And given that the current minimum wage is about 11 40 for it, I think it would probably just be a sort of minimum wage, minimum wage job. Um, and it was a sort of, this was our first attempt as part of contract worker to try and pull together the job description. So I'm not precious about it. <laughs> if you want to, it's just, it just the sort of things that we were saying, oh, this needs doing, we're going to have to do yeah, this little job. Did you still want yeah. it? You know, did you want to do these things? Because obviously, you know, it, it, some of these things it has been in the past for us, some of them are new ideas. So it, it's just kind of a, it's evolved into it. I mean, David yeah. and Dola, we have a responsibility with Swall and many more parish councils jointly. Um, to maintain the obelisk, and Peter's done that as a sort of one off case as an job add on, to add on um, yeah. up until now. But you know, that could form part of the basis of our parish medic, parish handyman, whatever you want to call it, um, and work from there, really. Is there a suggestion of the amount of hours that we're going to allocate for this? That's why I wanted to bring it up and just. To see if we can get it up and running, or if not, just shelve it and, you know. Is it something that the property management committee could, you know, look at when they go around and do their little reviews for the walk soon? I'm just saying, if it is a job, it needs to be defined. Mm -hmm. Yes. How many hours? Is it one day for the week? One day for the month? And then you just ask them to, to, to basically tackle, you know, you yeah. would set your priority order and they would work through what they could. Yeah. And pick a plan day. Did you get any responses to the ask for people to take on board the belt and beans? I don't see anything. That's fine. Um, it's just because that obviously something that it could go on to this. There's one at the bottom of Church Bank that now has not been done since the Simpsons moved. Is that and in the middle? It, it's in the middle island. Yeah. And it's honestly just overgrown to the point of no, I mean, it might as well not be there. Um, and some of the ones on the bridge need new pots and things like that. And it's sort of maybe some of an overview of that whole sort of planting up and you know not wanting to take away from the volunteers, but there are some that we're just not going to have volunteers to do and rather than leave them in a unhappy state, I think we need to take it on board and that's part of what perhaps could be the um, part of the parish caretaker handyman sort of role, couldn't it? I think that can it would help address some issues quicker and also then maybe discover problems like that. Well, and also we said things like you know, the things that need to be reported like they're being chased in the CC. That would, you know, ideally say something that we could and maybe have Yeah. Um.
hours it's going to entail potentially, and then, and then if it you know if it's twelve pound an hour or if it was say Peter is coming uh, with a uh, wage point to seven two point fifteen at that or something reasonable in between, it's then we you know, can see what the cost is going to be to the council for an average yeah. euro or two hundred. Yeah. Also, the security and the fact that we know that we're going to have a day a week or yeah. two days a month for some of us, but all the way through the year, because even in the winter, there's the dip ins and yeah. like that. And it's after. reporting that it's a PMT and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Um, just make that for those staff. Well, things like a bully on the bridge, where that's full of leaves. And I know it's going to be tough to come to town to shop, but it doesn't get done, does it? So. No, when did the RTA street clean? I think it was. I'm not suggesting these sleeps are old, but it's just that, you know, yeah. you just don't get the services from the county council at the moment.
might not have to go back and come back to check the mind at all with this. Okay. Yeah. You're looking at dates uh, for next month. Um, it's the annual meeting, annual parish meeting. Is there a date set? Yeah. Sorry, not the right. Yeah. Well, it has. Um, I did look at the uh, um, Ballmaster website, so there's not many dates available. Oh, yes. So you're talking about the end, uh, the last week in May. There's nothing booked in. That's because it's half term and most people will be away. Yeah, but other other than that, you're talking about the 23rd. Is that it's the week of the 14th? Bust is only like four times a year. We'll probably take that out with a meeting and just brew a couple of days. Yeah. Like I said, the week of the 14th, you're talking about after 8 o'clock. Yeah, well, that's, that's, I'm, I'm, but personally, I would be available uh, for the week of the, week of the 13th. Yeah. May, may I suggest that at the May meeting, when you redo all of your things and you redo your dates, that maybe you put uh, a date in for that meeting next year so that it's already in the diary? Okay, that would be very presumptuous because we're obviously we're. I think the the um, when you do a list in May, there's a, you do a list of um, the meeting dates. Thank you. 